Until recently, this new game hadn't really crossed my radar, and if you're the same, then you might find this video interesting. A few weeks ago, the team over at Infinite LaGrange reached out and asked if I would make a video following their game launch, which naturally got me curious. So this video is kindly sponsored by Infinite LaGrange. So if you're looking for something a little more casual to play in your downtime, you might want to keep watching. I'm Forrester, and with a couple of weeks of gameplay to try this out, this video will share some early impressions of Infinite LaGrange, which is available on mobile for Android and Apple, and with a desktop client for those who would like to play on PC. If you'd like to find out more, I've included a link to the website and Facebook page in the video description. Largely, this is a strategy game, and despite being online connected, works well if you're likely to be logged out for a while. The gameplay is essentially built around a balance of build, mine, upgrade, and fight. The battles are all automated, so really, it's all about the decisions you make, rather than micromanaging fights. After a couple of weeks, it's the sort of game that you might play for one or two hours a day, just in little breaks of your downtime. But it's also detailed enough that if you really want to spend more time, you could get involved in some of the more involved gameplay elements. Some of the most satisfying moments are large-scale fleet battles. Being able to customise your fleets to fight in different ways keeps things interesting, and limits on fleet sizes means once you get to the mid-level of the game, it's not as simple as just zerging all of your ships together in a single fleet. There are player versus player opportunities, but they're largely a distraction and of limited value, so you'd probably find yourself doing PvP for the sake of wanting to fight another player, rather than for any meaningful gain. The other real plus is that right now, the game really isn't pay to win, which is unusual for a mobile game. There's an in-game currency model, but that currency is given to you for completing missions, and as a daily reward for reinvesting it. There are a range of ship designs, from fighters and corvettes, to frigates, to destroyers, cruisers, battle cruisers, and even large carriers. There are multiple ships in each class, and even multiple variants of the same model of ship. They're researched through a blueprint technology system, and whilst the main questline unlocks enough to build decent fleets, it's a very slow and tedious process to unlock new ships, which is a shame. But once you've unlocked each design, you gain experience from using it in combat and through technology research, which you can use to upgrade specific parts of the ship based on your own preferences. So that element of customization is nice for a mobile game. All in all, I'm enjoying spending a little time each day playing Infinite LaGrange. This is the first time I've agreed to showcase something on the channel, and I really hope it's something that you find interesting. Let me know in the comments, and I'd also love to hear your thoughts if you've been playing. Otherwise, as always, thank you for watching. All torpedoes full speed.